I came out because President Obama has just like done everything he possibly can to help, especially seniors like me. Uh, my grandson was autistic and doesn't have health care, and he's just the man that can do the job and take us forward, not back. Okay. Did you meet President Obama today? I met the president. Uh, he came up the line and I shook his hand. He grabbed both my hands, leaned over and kissed me. I kissed him back. Then when he came through the second time, he held my hand while I was talking to the person next to me, so Michelle better watch out. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. How about you? Why do you support Obama? I support him. I think he's amazing. He'll, he'll do great, he'll do great things, things for this country. And I don't think I don't think we want to do Thank you. Thank you very much. And you? The issues that for, for students, for seniors, for women are so important that this is probably the most important election of my lifetime. And the bottom line is that I'm not me or anybody that I know will stand by and watch what we thought my mother fought for, be taken away from my daughters, my granddaughters, the people I care about, my children, to not be able to go to school, not be able to make choices about their own lives. It's the most important decisions we'll ever make. My name is Leardis Brothers, and my president, I had four boys in the military. They did their duty one day 22 well. years, one day 30 years retired. I had one in there now, he's a colonel. And I thank the Lord, I thank the president because he is for the veterans and for women. That's right, women! Then. Well, I think uh, obviously all the people on the street corner are very upset with the direction the country is headed, and uh, we'd like to see a change in the White House. Uh, you know, here at the Brevard Tea Party, our primary issues are the fiscal issues, the spending, the debt, and obviously that's got tremendously worse under President Obama's leadership. So, uh, you've got a lot of people out here who love America, who don't want to see their kids and their grandkids born into this tremendous debt. It's 16 trillion in debt just a few days ago, and uh, I, I don't think anybody can say with a straight face that's a good thing. Barbara Davis. This is my grandson, Christian Davis. He is seven years old. The pride that I have in President Barack Obama just exceeds my wishes for him. I, um, I support him because I want, for one thing, that I will be secure with Medicaid, with where my retirement comes that I won't have to suffer, that I can retire and be happy. I like to also see that my grandson receives an excellent education and not have to come out of college with tons and tons of debt. I thank President Obama for all the hard work that he is doing and I pray that God will bless him in the many years to come as President and Michelle to follow him. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you out here today? I'm out here today because as a financial planner, I know the statistics, I know what's happened since Obama got elected. The reality is, is that if you look under Bush, the economy actually grew, jobs grew from 132 million to 138 million until the Democrats took over Congress. And when they took over Congress, that's when you started seeing jobs eliminated, not under Bush, under the Democrats in control of the government. Same thing happened when Obama got elected. He had two years. The Democrats screwed up the country. Now we've got the, De the Republicans back in office in the Congress. Now we need them in the presidency so we can turn this country back into a capitalist nation that provides jobs to people who are willing to work, not a bunch of moochers that want somebody else to pay the bills. Okay. And how do you think the Romney presidency will impact the economy? Romney has created jobs. Obama's never done anything as far as creating jobs. He's always basically been a moocher or had a job. He's always been a moocher. Romney knows how to create jobs. He saved the Olympics. He saved Massachusetts. If you look at the record in Massachusetts, the reality is, yes, they were 47th in job growth, but that's because they had so many jobs under them. There was no room for jobs to grow. So we're looking at somebody that knows how to create jobs, knows how to build business, ask the employees at Staples how they I support about Obama because he does a very good job. He cares about the people and that's what's important. So I hope he wins. Been in line since six. Uh, waited about five and a half hours on Friday for tickets. We wait twice that long.
I've supported Barack Obama since 2008, and uh, the reason to support him now is becoming even stronger. The Republican Party, as far as I'm concerned, has gone off the deep end, and uh, Barack Obama still offers the hope and the change that we're hoping for, and a future based on the uh, future for the middle class, the common man, and for everyone who wants to do better and to live in America in peace. I'm from Japan. I'm actually a foreign student. Um, I support Obama because I've been supporting him from 08. And uh, he has so much charisma, he has so much power and influence in my life. And I'm content. I want to continue to support him. Thanks, campaign point. Thank you. Thank you. I'm DJ Hill, and I come from New Jersey, go to FIT. Um, I support Obama because of pretty much everything that he, he supports, I, I support. I love his ideas and what he's trying to take this country into, and it's really going to another era, and I fully support him throughout his campaign. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brian Kim, I'm from South Korea, and I'm a senior at Florida Tech right now. Um, I support President Obama because I strongly believe in what he promotes in. I just want to see it applied and I will look forward to that. And especially because my parents have been a, you know, hard working, tax saying people. And me, this is my home. And um, I definitely want to stay here as a citizen. And that's my reason. Okay. And I'm very concerned about education. I'm a retired teacher, and I believe that education needs a lot of help at this time, and along with uh, college for students to be able to go to, as well as for Medicare since I'm getting closer to that age. And wanted to come see him because I believed in him four years ago, and I still believe in him now. Okay. Hi, I'm Cheryl Skilton, and I'm here. I've been in the line two days, and I uh, was still in line to get my first ticket to come to him. I got in line again last night at midnight, and we were on the other side, but I'm in line because President Obama is the formula for America. Four more years, four more years. For my generation and my children's generation, the legacy of this great country in this world, we intend to elect him four more years. I would like to say thank you to President Obama for coming to Melbourne, Florida. I was born and raised here. This has never happened. He, I mean, he's for him to come to little old Melbourne. I'm happy about that. Thank you. Thank you for the nice job thank you're doing too. As a member of the Armed Forces, I want to thank my President and Commander in Chief Barack Obama for coming to Melbourne, Florida. Thank you. Thank you. For this election, uh, two reasons he doesn't put Bo on the roof. <laughs> big advocates for science and believe in science and believe in mathematics for that matter. And so that was another reason why we came out. I came out to support the president. I supported him four years ago and I'm all for four more years. Thank you. I came out today to FIT in Melbourne to support our president. We want four more years for him because he is sincere, he is wonderful, he doesn't lie. And I would, he's one of us, and we love him. And I'm glad to see all this support, and I'm gonna volunteer and support him all the way to the voting booths. And he will get in. Four more years!
present today, for all those who are present, and to all the families who are represented. Father God, we ask that you continue to bless President Barack Obama and his wonderful family. I pray that you will continue to bless our great president with the gifts of discernment, the gift of understanding, the gift of wisdom, and the gift of strength to accomplish the difficult tasks before him and our great nation.
research, our ability to commercialize new products, making them here in America. Now, so, so this is where we've got a choice. We could, as the House Republican budget proposals, cut back on research and technology. Thank you. 